Hi everyone, welcome to Crafty Corner's YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cricut Joy to make a custom wrap for a coffee mug or a tumbler. I'm going to be using this one right here. I picked this up at a local store. It's about 14 ounces, and so I just added this simple little heart design to it, and I really love how it turned out. So I'm going to show you how I did it. If you're looking for any Cricut or craft supplies, make sure to check out our website. It's wwwcraft e corner.com. I have links for everything I've used in the description below. Other than that, we'll go ahead and get started in Design Space. Here's what my design looks like in Design Space. I'll walk you through how I made this design next, but for now I'm just going to hide it and we'll start from scratch. The first thing that I did was add a template to the canvas. I measured my mug, and I'll show you how to do that after we get out of Design Space here, but I measured it and then added those dimensions to a rectangle. So if you add square, and then if you come up to size, click on the unlock button and then type in the dimensions of your mug. So for the width, I did 13 and a half and the height was three and a half. And then click on enter. So now this is my mug, the entire wrap that I will be making. And I'll hit lock and I'm just going to change this to white so it's a little easier to see. And actually, did you know if you come down here and double click on this square, you can change the color of your canvas. So I'm going to do that just so it's, again, a little easier for me to see. Okay, so then from here, I went into the Cricut image library and I found a heart that I wanted to use. So I'll click on images and I simply typed in heart and tons of different ones will come up. So you can search through and find a heart that you like. Um, if you want to see just the free hearts, you can come over to ownership and click on free. And then this way you can access all of these hearts without having to pay for a subscription. The one that I used, however, is a part of the subscription. If you have Cricut access, it will be included. And I'm just trying to search and find it. It was this one right here. So we'll click that and click insert images. You don't have to use this exact heart, of course. You can literally use any heart. And actually, if you come over to shapes here, there is another heart here that you could use as well. So I just wanted to show you some options for your heart. So then the next thing that I did was just size it down to about how big I wanted it to be on my mug. And then from here, I just literally filled this entire wrap with the hearts. So if you click this arrow in the top right hand corner, you can rotate it. So I did that and then I copied and pasted another heart and I rotated it the other way. And then we'll duplicate that again and add another one. So then from these three hearts, I just filled the rest of my design. Um, so you can just copy and paste. You can use your keyboard shortcuts, which is what I'm doing now. Or if you come up to duplicate in the top right hand corner, you can select that. So this is seriously all I did. I just played around with it until I found what I liked. So it's that simple. When you're finished, you'll want to make sure you attach all of your hearts together. So I'm going to move this template out of the way. So when you're finished filling your template up with your hearts, you'll highlight all of the hearts. Don't highlight your template, just the hearts. And come to the bottom right and click on Attach. This way the Cricut will know exactly how to cut them as they are seen on the screen here. And so if we get rid of this, I'll show you again what mine looks like. So that's the design that I came up with. And as you can see, these are all attached together, as you can see over in the layers panel here. And then before you go to cut, make sure you hide the rectangle because we don't need to cut that. And then let's change our machine to the Cricut Joy and we'll click on make it. Now I am using Cricut vinyl, but it is not a smart vinyl. So we're gonna be cutting it on a mat and we'll click on done. So this will show you the size of vinyl that you need. So I'm gonna cut some vinyl that's probably about three and a half inches by 12, maybe a little less. And then from here, we can connect to our Joy and I'll choose the premium vinyl as my cutting setting. I wanted to show you quick how I measured my mug. Obviously, I already have it finished, but I just wanted to show you really quick how I came up with the measurements. So I've got a tape measure here um, and all I did is start at one end of the mug and hold it in place and then I just wrapped it around like this and then I caught the width that way so I picked up 11 and a half 
and then you'll do the same thing from top to bottom as well and I just went from the top of where the mint color starts to the bottom I did not include the stainless steel and that's where I got the three and a half so that's how I figured that out just because it's a straight walled mug you can just do it it's as easy as that just measuring the length and the width and that seemed to work out really well for me. So that's how I figured out my mug. Just wanted to show you in case you need to figure out yours as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get started by applying my vinyl onto a cutting mat. I'm gonna use the standard grip mat today. And I'll just get this lined up. I went ahead and cut my vinyl down to size. So we'll get that lined up and then I'm gonna push down with my hand. And this mat is fairly new, so I'm just gonna push down and that should be good. We'll just look for any like air bubbles, but it looks good to me. And now we'll get this loaded into our Joy. I went ahead and chose the premium vinyl as my cutting setting. This is Cricut vinyl that I'm using. So it's just aligning our mat to make sure that we have it all correct. And then now Design Space is telling us to go. So I just hit go on my computer and it's going to get cutting. So it's all finished, so we can hit unload in design space, and we are done cutting. So now to remove the material from the mat, I'm going to flip the mat over and bend that back while I hold my material straight. And now we can go ahead and get weeding our design. So I'm just looking for a weeder tool here, which just looks like this. And what I'm going to do is remove the vinyl from around the hearts. And it look, looks like I have a little bit of vinyl I can trim off at the end here. So I'm just going to cut that off. And now we'll get to weeding. So I'm going to just start in the top left hand corner. It doesn't matter where you start, but I just like to pull down like at a 45 degree angle and pull just like this. And that's weeding really, really nicely. Perfect. Now we'll grab our transfer tape. And I'm going to apply this on top of my vinyl design. So I'm using Cricut Transfer Tape. It comes on a paper backing. So I'm just going to get this removed. And then we will apply this on top. I like to start on one end. I'm going to start on the left here. And slowly place it down. So I'm just working my way over. Just like that. And then we can grab a scraper tool and we are going to press down on the front and then also on the back side. Okay, now before we remove our transfer tape, I'm actually going to cut around the design and I'm just doing this so that it's easier to apply onto our mug. So I'm just cutting and getting as close to the vinyl as I can. So it's cutting through the transfer tape and through the paper backing. And like I said, this is just going to make it a little easier to apply our vinyl onto the cup. Then when you're all finished with that, we'll remove the paper backing. Again, I like to just start in one of the corners and work my way down. Perfect. And now we can grab our mug. So this is probably going to be the trickiest part just because it is a full wrap. So I'm just going to grab my brayer tool and I'm actually just going to have it hold it up. You can use anything. You could grab some pens, you could grab a book to just help hold your mug up. I just find that it helps me anyway to apply it evenly just to have something hold it in place. And then what I'm going to do is just start at one end and I'm just going to try and get this lined up straight onto my mug. So we'll start at one end, get it centered and now I'm pushing down and now I'm going to pull it tight across. Whoops. Okay. Oh, all right. I guess we're done. I accidentally dropped it. Okay, so now push that on, 
and then grab your scraper and go to town. Now I'm going to remove the transfer tape. So I'm just pulling at one corner like this and just rocking back and forth. And our goal here is to make sure that all of our vinyl is staying onto our cup. So I'll just keep going around. I think this is turning out so cute. One thing I noticed about this mug that I picked up is it scratches really easily. So I'm just trying to be extra careful and working with it. But check that out. So now, normally I would go over with my scraper tool and go like this, but like I just said, it's scratching really easy, so I'm just going to actually push down with my fingers, and I think that will suffice. Just making sure those are all pushed down. If you do see any air bubbles in your vinyl, you can go ahead and push those out with your finger, or maybe you want to use your scraper tool, um, but just take note of those. In terms of caring for your mug, this will be a hand wash only project. That's what's recommended. And if you're selling these, I would probably say hand wash only too. But to be honest, I throw my blanks, mugs, cups, whatever, um, that have vinyl on them into the dishwasher and nine times out of 10, I would say even more than that, it turns out fine. But I do let this adhere for like two to three days before washing it of any kind. I feel like that just helps the vinyl to stick on really well. So there you go. That's how you can use your Cricut Joy to make a little custom mug. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. I think this turned out so cute. I love the mint and the white together. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.